Good evening. Toronto police believe they have cracked the case in a 36-year-old murder mystery that shattered the lives of two Ontario families. Nine-year-old Christine Jessup went missing from her Queensville home in October of 1984. Her body found three months later. Her neighbor, Guy Paul Morin, was wrongfully convicted in during two trials and jail time before ultimately being exonerated thanks to DNA evidence in 1995. Now, that DNA led police to Calvin Hoover, who was 28 at the time of the murder, and an acquaintance of uh, the Jessup family as well as a neighbor. Hoover died in 2015. No foul play suspected in his death, but police do believe that it was his semen that was found on the underwear of Christine Jessup. Now, the case doesn't end here. They are still looking for more information about Christine's murder. Today's announcement is only the first very important answer in this ongoing investigation. It has obviously generated many more questions, and we are asking for the public's help as we look for information about Calvin Hoover in an effort to create a timeline of his whereabouts and the last moments of Christine's life. Please take a look at this photo. It is a photo of Mr. Hoover that date back, dates back to the late 1990s. Despite how dated it is, it is our hope that it may jog someone's memory about the events surrounding Christine's disappearance. Now, now police say they have been in touch with the Jessup family this morning, as well as Guy Paul Morin, who was awarded $1.25 million by the province and issued a public apology after his wrongful conviction. Moran issued a statement today saying he is relieved and hopes the family finds some peace. We also spoke with his former lawyer. Here's what he had to say. That lost, that long lost. That's, that was my reaction. Too long? Of course. It's going to give a little bit of peace of mind, we hope, to, uh, to uh, Janet Jessup, Christine's mother, and other members of the family, a 36-year ordeal that they've been through. Um, uh, Guy Paul was exonerated a long time ago, back in 1995. Uh, but, uh, uh, of course, as, as a person accused of a, and indeed convicted of a crime he didn't commit, um, he's uh, very relieved that they finally found the real killer as well. Now, of course, DNA evidence isn't anything new, but the way that it's being examined is. Uh, police in the U.S. have been using genetic genealogy for the last couple of years to some success, and Canadian law enforcement has gotten in on that. Toronto police saying they submitted more than 300 samples to a U.S. lab in relation to this investigation. Now, uh, both York Regional Police and Durham Police were involved in this case because of where Christine lived when she went missing and where her body was found. The cold case was handed over to Toronto Police back in 1996 and they will continue to be the lead on this investigation.